Uh, hi, Alex. I'm Gavia, and we're here in Torquay for the uh, Yanmar Dragon Gold Cup in 2023. Um, it's, it's really great for me to be here, actually. It's been, um, I'm born and bred in Torquay, and uh, I first started sailing dragons here in Torquay, having started in cadets and then dragons. And throughout my life, the dragon has been a constant. I've sailed and raced just about, I've been lucky enough to sail and race just about anything that, that floats and races. But the dragon has always been a constant to which I've returned. So I may have done some intense bit of dragon and then gone off to something else and then come back to dragons. And uh, in early, the, about 2003, I was actually left a dragon by the man whose boat I used to run for him, Pat Dias, who was the admiral of the Royal Corinthian Yacht Club at the time. And having left me uh, and our other boat crew, his boat, uh, we sailed it for one year in 2003, really to say thank you to Pat Dias for having left us the boat. And that at the end of that year, Richard, my boat partner, wanted out of the boat. And I had no intention of buying the boat uh, from him. We were going to find another owner. So at the end of that year, I bought him out and bought the boat. And I'm now personally on to my fourth Jaboa, the one I'm sailing here I bought in March and is actually Jaboa 7, but to me, 4. And uh, for me to come back and sail a gold cup in Torquay, where I'm from, is, is just fantastic. Uh, I've first sailed cadets here and now to be sailing dragons here. I have done numerous dragon events here, but uh, it's, it's great to be here for this year. And my involvement in the dragon class obviously has been for a very long time. But when I uh, actually started helming, having been left the dragon in 2003, I never imagined that my dragon sailing career would take me where it has now taken me, which is sailing the dragon internationally throughout Europe. Uh, we have in the past been doing 16, 18 regattas a year. This year, I've been more based in cows because I ran the 70, organized the 75th uh, Edinburgh Cup in cows. And Mark, my middleman, is Commodore of the Cows Corinthian Yacht Club. So we had a busy cows season. I now live in cows. So for me to have had the, the 75th Edinburgh Cup in cows, my current home, and to immediately come from that regatta here to Torquay for the Gold Cup in my previous home is really a lot of fun. But from here on in, we start traveling. And uh, we go to France next week. And I'm looking forward to a, to a busy European schedule next year. Uh, we'll obviously come back to the UK for the Nationals and Cows Week and hopefully some Solent sailing. Um, but we will be doing a lot of the regattas on the circuit, which, as I say, since 2003, I've been fortunate enough to do an, an enormous number. Um, and it's a huge privilege for me to sail against the caliber of sailors that are in this class. It is astonishing to me that I can compete against uh, America's Cup helmsmen and, and um, winners of multinational classes, uh, worlds, Europeans, Gold Cups. It's uh, Olympic sailors. I worked with the Olympic movement for many years because I worked for World Sailing, um, during which time I, I uh, ran the World Women's Sailing Championship, the World Youth Sailing Championship, worked as a number of Olympic regattas, and uh, post my career with World Sailing, actually run a business which was um, uh, one of my main uh, uh, jobs was actually the fundraising for the British Olympic and Paralympic sailors, which I did for very many years. So working with elite sailors, um, I now find it astonishing that I actually get to sail with those elite sailors. And it is a terrific privilege. And for as long as I can, I will continue sailing my dragon internationally and nationally.